In this video, we're going to continue with systems of linear equations, but now we're going to use matrices. And what we're going to do is encode and decode secret messages. For this video, I'm using matrixcalc.org. This is really cryptography in the very simplest form. But the first thing we want to do is encode. First, we need to learn how to encode a secret message. To begin, assign the numbers 1 through 26 to the letters in the alphabet, as shown below. Also assign the number 0 to a blank to provide for space between words. Second, we're going to create a 2 by 2 encoded matrix that has an inverse, and this matrix we're going to call A. We're going to regroup the numbers into a matrix into groups of 2. We're going to call that matrix B. We're going to multiply the encoding matrix by the regrouping matrix, that's A times B, and the result is the encoded matrix D. So basically, we're going to take A, the secret 2 by 2 matrix, times it by the matrix we created with the numbers and the letters, and what we get out is D, the encoded matrix. So how do we decode it? So first, we need to find the inverse of the encoded matrix. We're going to call that A inverse. Then we're going to multiply the inverse encoded matrix by the encoded matrix D. So we're going to have A inverse times D. The result is the original encoded matrix, B. So we're taking A inverse times D to give us B. And then finally, we're going to match the letters and the numbers to figure out what is that secret message. Let's do an example of an encoding. We're going to encode this secret message. What the matrix? So to begin, we need to assign the numbers 1 through 26 to the letters in the alphabet. So let me show you how we do that. So W is 23, H is 8, A is 1, T is 20, and then we have a space, so we're going to put in a 0, and then I just filled in the rest of them. Now we need to create a 2 by 2 encoded matrix that has an inverse. Usually the book or the question will give it to you. Now, how do they find it? Well, they just randomly pick numbers for matrix A that also has an inverse. So we're going to use this matrix A for this question. Next, we need to regroup the numbers into a matrix in two groups of two. This is going to be our B matrix. So here we go. W, H, A, T. You're going to notice I'm going up, down, up, down, up, down. 0, 20, 8, 5, 0, 13, 1, 20, 18, 9, 24, and the last one is 0. Because the thing is, we can't leave a blank space in a matrix. Now, we're simply going to multiply A times B. So I use matrixcalc.org to help me with this. If you have to do it by hand, I also gave you exactly what you have to do. But in the end, our result is the D matrix. And this is the secret code we're going to send to a friend. Now we just got a message from our friend and we need to decode it. So the first thing is, we have to find the inverse of the encoding matrix. Well, for this one, I have 6, 7, 7, 8 as my matrix. And the inverse is negative 8, 7, 7, negative 6. Now on the top there, that's D. That's our secret message we just got from a friend. Now we need to multiply the inverse encoding matrix by the encoded matrix. Oh my gosh, what? Well, we're just taking A inverse times the message we just got. When I do that, I end up with B, my answer. This is the one that we're going to use to figure out what is the message. So once again, I use matrixcalc.org to do all this stuff. Actually, it did it for me. And this is our matrix B. The last step is to figure out what is that message. 8 is H, 1 is A, 14 is N, 4 is D, 0 is just a blank space, 23 is W, 9 is I, 16 is P, 5 is E, and 0 is a blank space. And what does this spell? Hand wipe. Oh, I guess I've got to bring hand wipes to class. 
Thanks for watching. And if you want to use the matrixcalc.org calculator online, here is the URL for you. Thank you.